so surreal called film little pieces of time but he could be talking about photography as he likely was okay i'm in class everything's cool i am okay from light to shadow from color to chiaroscuro now can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black i didn't fall asleep and that sure didn't feel like a dream weird Diane Arbus. There you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Because of her images of hopeless faces. You feel like- Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? Totally I can hear the class laughing at me now. Program. She saw humanity as tortured, right? And frankly, it's bullshit. Shh, 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 shh. Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though, I could fr- shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? I did know, but I kind of forgot. You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the micro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. The Daguerrean process brought out fine detail. Sorry, Max. No more selfies right now. Popular from the 1800s onward. The first American daguerreotype self-portrait was done by Robert Corn. If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? If anybody else looked at this, you what would they think? In your textbook, or even online. I can't believe I... Hey guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. I should have known. She'll have better equipment than Blackwell. Victoria, you still have to do your homework. I should have known. She'll have... Of course, Victoria has to have the best... Even her school books are gift-wrapped. I can't believe she may... Huh, this might make a cool shot. You know what it's like to be consumed by your work. I just really think Everyday Heroes is an important... 
important cultural event, and I want to represent Dapo Academy. You have just by participating, by putting yourself out there in the world. That's now I wish I wouldn't have read this. Purge. No matter who wins, this is just a bump on a bigger road. I like this panoramic view of Blackwell. Everything looks so green and serene. Not for everybody. I have my moment in the camp. Hi, Kate. Oh, hi, Max. I only want to share whatever gift I have with the world. Kate, I hope I didn't embarrass you with my lame answer. It sucks to be dragged into the spotlight. Unless you're Victoria. She's got nothing on you, Max. Well, I should get going. Yeah, me too. Talk to you later. Sure. Looks like somebody was already working on this. Cool.